Look at that, if it was uh, another piece of junk mirror, better lot uh, hydrogen light bulb blue. To know how to make these things weak to get out some of these new CFL lights, that's for sure. Might be buying this brand again, no matter what they make. I'm gonna put a little bit of insulation around these pins and solder some wires and see if I can get an arc in there. Finally found a use for these two jar halves. That sits in there quite securely. There you go, I can use it to hold light bulbs while I roll the wires up and prepare them for arcing. What a great idea. Ah, oh, this one's for Wayne, aka Boombox Deluxe. Arcing a light bulb. Hopefully my insulation holds up on this one. I hope, I hope, I hope, otherwise it's going to go straight in the microwave. That down there. Safety glasses on. Alright. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of a trick here. I'm going to use my contactor. Stuff in there, see my contactor. Get nice and industrial. Plug it in there. That's on there. Alright, plug the NST in. Alright, access to the switch here, in 3, 2, 1, we've got an arc in there, the camera won't see it there, there we are, there's the arc, I'm not inside the halogen um, bulb though, because the filament's not, um, where the break in the filament is, it's not close enough together. Kind of like a plasma arc. There we are, we have an arc and a light bulb. The mot's not high enough, I needed several mots to get a, a destructive arc in there to bridge that gap. Come on camera, there you go, like that now. The glare's a bit of a problem, but we can see the arc. Um, anti glare. There we go. There's the arc. Alright, I'm going to shut off. Power off. Unplug the NST, safety first. Zoom out, and I'm going to try and see if I can move the filament around in there so it arcs inside the halogen. Stand it up so that um, gravity pulls the filament toward where it's been broken off. See if that gap's closed for it to arc inside that. 3, 2, 1. No. Still arcing at the same spot. Okay, power off. Unplug safety first. Yeah. It's warm in there though. Let's do it again. Just let it arc. It's kind of fascinating to watch the arc. There must be a vacuum in there still, even though there's halogen in there. They might just pull a vacuum in that bulb anyway. Interesting. Yeah, I need more current to actually burn that. It looks more purple on, in real life from what the camera picks it up as. There you go, a purple plasma arc inside a light bulb. Oh, I'm going to try to mot, but I doubt, I get a, I doubt it's a close enough contact. That probably won't work. Power off. Okay, the filament's got the closest gap in it now, inside that halogen bulb. That plastic indicator light behind it's just the assist to help it stand up. Unballasted. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to run it for long. 3, 2, 1. Circuit, we've got an arc in there. Beautiful. Unplug safety first. Got an arc in there. The filament actually burnt away completely. And there, if we've got an arc in there at least. 
but as soon as I shut it off, the gap was too big. It wouldn't arc again. All right, let's uh, NST it one more time. Then we can microwave it. Big 12kV NST comes out to play. Hopefully my insulation on the outside is good enough to withstand 12kV. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Alright, power on. Yep. Same amount of current, it's just not going to burn the inside of it yet. Oh, and I'll reposition that so we'll shut that off, unplug safety first. Reposition our light so I can see the arc better. But we have definitely got an arc in there. Alright, plug it back in. Oh, the glare's a problem here. Foam mat as a glare blocker. And there we are, an arc and a light bulb. How nice is that? Plasma. All right, let's whack it in the microwave. Unplug, safety first. Switch off first. Unplug that, safety first. All right, microwave time. There we are. Find the cord out. Get my little uh, extension cord with my contact on it. Switch it off, start heating. Come down to me. Beautiful. Plug that in. It's plugged in. All right. In three, two, one. Come on, I want plasma. Mm, no plasma. Oh, I'm disappointed. It's definitely working there. Power off. Oh, let's reposition that. Back this in there as well. A wedge bulb from a dashboard. Yeah, uh, instrument cluster. I know the effect is that lithium iron battery from that Bluetooth event talk. Tear down I did. I took the outer shell off it. Very nasty stuff. Be careful of the DM batteries. The uh, bayonet of this light bulb is uh, hogging all the microwaves, unfortunately. That's why I wasn't getting any results. Alright, let's plug this back in. Alright, let's uh, try again. Three, two, one. Greedy bayonet hugging on the microwaves. Hmm. Well, this is disappointing, isn't it? Getting a bit windy, too. Alright, power off. Unplug safety first. Yeah, the bloody bayonet's hugging on the microwaves. That got warm, though. Oh, the oars had to be enough for now. Thanks for watching.